Welcome to Fantasy Life's new best ball hub. I'm Peter Overzet, and today I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how you can leverage our new free tool for reviewing and checking out your best ball teams. The Fantasy Life Best Ball Hub is the ultimate companion tool to help you dominate your underdog drafts. Now to start leveraging the Best Ball Hub, we first need to go and get our underdog data from Underdog Fantasy. This is going to be a CSV that has all of the teams we've drafted in it in a single file. To do that, all we need to do is head over to underdogfantasy.com. You need to be logged in and you'll click on the completed tab up here next to lobby and active. Once you're on that completed tab, you will see below NFL 2023 season, an option to email your exposure CSV. This is a CSV that contains every single draft you have done during this drafting window. When you select that, you will receive an email from Underdog Fantasy with that CSV that you can then download to your desktop. Once I have that downloaded to my desktop, I'm now ready to upload that data to Fantasy Life's Best Ball Hub. You'll see here with the Upload Data tab, there's a blue button. We select that, and now we are going to browse for the file on our desktop. Once I hit Browse, I'm gonna locate the CSV from Underdog. It will appear like a string of random numbers unless you named it accordingly when you download it. Once you select that there, you will see the upload preview populate with a lot of this hard raw data from your CSV. And now all we have to do is hit the green upload button on the Best Ball Hub and Fantasy Life will begin ingesting all of this Best Ball data into the hub so you can review your portfolio of teams. One of the great things about this tool is we have now moved past the days of just drafting one fantasy team throughout the year. Now we're drafting multiple best ball teams because the beauty of best ball is we don't have to set the lineup. We don't have to do trades. We can just get the benefits of the draft. The issue is when we're drafting a lot of these teams, we need to actually know what we are doing in these drafts. We need to look at the styles of teams we're building, the players we're targeting, and understand our portfolio to really become as good of a drafter as possible. And that's exactly what the Best Ball Hub does. And now that we have our CSV from Underdog uploaded to the Fantasy Life Best Ball Hub, we can start to review our teams. The first section we should review here is underneath the My Players. There's a drop down here that is going to show you the various tournaments you've drafted in. One important note, your draft must be complete. An in-progress draft will not be reflected in your data. Once you are done with a draft, you can always re-upload your CSV to get the most up-to-the-date information about your teams. From this dropdown, we're able to select from Best Ball Mania 4, The Puppy, or any of the other underdog tournaments you have drafted on. When you select one of these tournaments, you will see your player exposures specifically for that tournament. Right now, I have my Best Ball Mania 4 teams pulled up. You'll notice here I can also query by position if I just want to look at my quarterbacks, my running backs, my wide receivers, or my tight ends, I can review them that way. I can also view them all at once. The Best Ball Hub is gonna automatically sort your highest exposure player, AKA the players you have drafted the most at the top. You can see here I have drafted Denver rookie wide receiver Marvin Mims on 32% of my teams. That is what exposure means here, EXP. We also have team exposure which is the percentage of drafted teams that have a player from a selected player's NFL team. We have my ADP, which shows you the average place you have selected this player in drafts. And we also have a column showing the current ADP, which is going to pull in the current ADP on Underdog Fantasy. This is a very helpful way for you to benchmark if you're getting values on your players, whether you're always taking them ahead or after ADP. It's obviously preferred to be getting these guys primarily after ADP. You can continue to scroll through all of your exposures all the way down to the players you have only selected in one draft as you tab through here and see all of the players I have selected. All the way down to my single Tyler Higbee share here. 
my ADP of 192 and current ADP of 147. Now I want to get into some of the other really cool features of the Best Ball Hub and where you can really roll up your sleeves and dig into the data. The first thing that I want to highlight are the player combos with the Best Ball Hub, because it's one thing to know how much you've drafted a single player, but it's another thing to know the type of teams you've drafted him on, the type of structures you've drafted him on, and the other players you have paired him with. Because I've drafted a lot of Marvin Mims in my personal drafts, I'm very curious to see what kind of teams I'm building around him. By typing Marvin Mims into the My Teams tab, I'm gonna immediately see a display that shows all of the teams I've drafted Marvin Mims on. You can see a team here in the Puppy and many Best Ball Mania teams. The other really cool thing about this is it's really easy to see the team you've drafted around the selected player. I can select team six here in the Best Ball Mania draft, and I will see the full team that I drafted. This includes the structure, 2682, and all of the other players, positions, teams, as well as the Fantasy Life positional rank. You can see here my quarterbacks, my running back room, and of course, Marvin Mims there at pick 164. Over on the sidebar underneath Marvin Mims here, we also see some valuable data, the exposure across all of my drafts, the team exposure, the average ADP, the current ADP, the Fantasy Life positional rank, the Fantasy Life overall rank, the average position of the pick, which is a selected player's ADP for their position, as well as the average stack, the number of players on a drafted team from the selected player's NFL team. And then this is where it starts to get really fun. We can start to look at the opponents for this player in the fantasy playoffs. This is important data the way these tournaments are structured. The majority of the money in these tournaments is won in the fantasy playoffs, specifically week 17. Knowing who they are playing allows you to stack up a player from a specific team and build out DFS-esque game stacks that will give you a better chance of finding yourself atop the leaderboard. When we look at the other data in this display, we can see the type of builds I've been drafting Marvin Mims on. 3582, 22%, 2682%, 28%. This can give you a gauge of the type of builds you are selecting a player in. We can also see how often I am drafting a player with their teammates. You can see here, 33% of the times I'm taking Marvin Mims without any other Broncos. 44% of the time it's with one other Bronco. And then it will specifically show you the players you are drafting them the most with. This player combo tool is very helpful in helping you identify blind spots in your drafting. If I'm always drafting Marvin Mims with Samaj P. Ryan, I might not be building a proper portfolio and would be at risk of wiping out a ton of good Marvin Mims teams in the event Samaj P. Ryan doesn't hit. We can also see the most common players drafted with Marvin Mims across other teams as well. When I look at these players, these are often going to be somewhat random, which is why this is such an informative exercise, because it can allow me to know, hey, you're drafting Marvin Mims with Traylon Burks a lot. There's not necessarily any rhyme or reason for that other than randomness, and this tool can help push you in the other direction of, hey, maybe I don't want Marvin Mims on a Traylon Burks team. As mentioned above, we can also see which players we have stacked up with Marvin Mims in the playoff weeks. The Broncos play the Lions in week 15. We can see some of these stacks here. They play the New England Patriots in week 16. We can see that I have paired Marvin Mims with Ramondre Stevenson on 28% of these teams. And then we can see the week 17 stacks. This is a very important one, the way these tournaments are structured. And you can see that I have stacked Marvin Mims up, probably not enough with the Chargers. 67% of the time I have drafted Marvin Mims, I do not have a Chargers bring back. This would be a piece of data that I would now file away in the back of my head that next time I take my favorite player, Marvin Mims, I might wanna make sure I'm getting a Chargers wide receiver to give me access to a week 17 game stack. This tool gets really powerful when you start adding various player combos. Now, my second most drafted player in Best Ball Mania so far is 
Seahawks rookie running back, Zach Charbonnet. I can now use this tool to see the teams where I have drafted Marvin Mims and Zach Charbonnet together. The thought being, if I'm really high on these players, I want to make sure I have them on the same team and not just always isolated. Because if I'm right in these player takes that these guys are going to have good seasons and are undervalued, I'm going to want to make sure they're on some similar teams together. I can now review all of my Mims and Charbonnet teams. All of this display data is the same as when it was just Marvin Mims, but now it is only going to show teams that have both Marvin Mims and Zach Charbonnet. I can click on team 28 here and see, sure enough, I took Zach Charbonnet at pick 101 and Marvin Mims at pick 173, and I can see the rest of the team around them. Not only can the Best Ball Hub help you identify mistakes or maybe patterns you weren't aware of during drafting season, it's going to make it incredibly fun to sweat your teams during the season. Right now, it's a little hard to know, hey, Jalen Hurts and Devonta Smith went off in a game together. Where are those teams that I have those two players? With the Fantasy Life Best Ball Hub, which is completely free, I can simply type in Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith, and I can see right here, I have them on one team together. I can click that team and now know the other players I'm rooting for to have good games, knowing that this premium stack with Jalen Hurts and Devonta Smith has hit in unison. The best part about the Best Ball Hub is it is completely free. And whether you are drafting 150 teams like me or just five to 10 teams, the information in the data here is incredibly valuable to make you a better best ball player. In the same way an athlete reviews their game tape or a public speaker watches back a presentation, as a fantasy player and a best ball player, it's important to review what you're doing in these drafts so you can spot mistakes fix them, and be a more informed drafter going forward. All of this is available at fantasylife.com completely for free. The Best Ball Hub is how you win a best ball tournament.